In this episode, we're going to find out why this VMAX is not charging the battery. Okay, yeah. ready? Yeah. Okay, you're enjoying the Kotakuna Vida YouTube channel. Hi, and thank you for watching my channel as we restore this 1994 Yamaha VMAX. It's been abused and neglected for 15 years back to life. Today, we wanna to find out why the battery is not charging. You would have seen on my, oh. <laughs> it goes a Harley. You would have. You would have seen on my earlier video when I checked the uh, charge, that it was still only about 12.5 volts when the motor was running, where it should be above 13. Well, that is unbelievable. So let's pull it apart, put another regulator on it and check it out. So what we've got to do is once again, remove the seat, <laughs> remove this side cover here. So very, very simple. And that'll get us to our regulator. We'll plug in a spare that I've got. Uh, when you take your side plates off, remember down the bottom here, there's a little rubber it slips over. So if you haven't got that, make a little bit of rubber or tape or something to stop this rattling around. So here we've got our gasoline tank. And here on our left hand rear footrest, behind that is the regulator. So we've got to take off these four bolts here pull this off and we'll get to the regulator to remove. There we go. And there's our regulator that we want to check. So we want to undo these two screws here. They could be very tight. Take this off and then we'll put the other one on. Oh, easy. Oh, they're very simple. Usually they're really hard. So here is my old regulator spare that I've got. So you'll see here there's a red wire which we're connecting to here. And there's a plug which is stuck in here, behind here, this one here. So I'll take this off and we'll disconnect that one and then this whole regulator will come out. And there we have it, as easy as that, it's out. Now what does happen, and this is a classic sign which could be the problem, if you look in there, the plugs are corroded there and they're corroded in there. And another problem is they don't earth out well. So we've got an earth strap down here, but the unit is not earthed out properly sometimes and that makes it go a little bit funny. But for today, we're just gonna bolt on my spare and see what happens. This could be okay. We'll know as soon as we bolt on the other one. And in these plugs, We'll spray a bit of WD-40 before we put it back together that'll clean that up and make a good connection. Okay, so what I've done here is I put my spare regulator on, but it has to be earthed out, which is usually earthed out on the back of your footrest here. So I've screwed it in here just so the system is all earthed out and connected. I sprayed a little bit of WD-40 to make better contact where there was a bit of corrosion in here and here. So we're just gonna see if it's working. We're gonna test the uh, volts up the top and see if this regulator is better and it's fixed the problem. Okay, I'm just guessing, but I think we've got a problem with our regulator. So what I've done now is pulled my regulator off my 85 VMAX from over there and bolted it on because I know it's perfect. So 
Let's run the engine now and test and see what the volts is like with this good regulator. So, as you can see, it's still not producing high voltage of 13 volts. So, so this is our cable straight from our stator. And you'll see in there it's a three pin or three phase stator, which are Japanese bikes and most European bikes run a three phase stator here. So now what we want to do is check that our stator is not broken and earthing out because if a wire or something is broken and it's earthing out, our voltage is going through our engine. Now how we do that, you get your multimeter and you turn it over to ohms. I've got it here on 600, you'll see. So, and we're gonna check from each of these wires to ground on the bike and it should always just stay zero. If there's a ground, which means we're getting a current through, we're gonna get a number up here. So let me sit that there so you can see. Now here's our plug that comes straight from our stator. So you can put this first pin in anywhere. So I put that in there. Now you just gotta earth it out. So let me move this camera up a little bit for you. There we go. I'm just gonna earth it out here. You'll see we're still staying zero. There's nothing there. Change the next phase. Nothing. Oh. That last phase there. Okay, so in the first test, we know that the stator is not earthing out in our in our motor, okay? So, now we're gonna go on to the second part of this test. We're going to check continuity. So, we should have a measurement uh, around six, seven, and it should be consistent through each phase. So now I've just got it here, here we go. Oh, six, seven, so no problems. I'll change it now to the next phase here. Oh, six, seven, exactly the same. Then change your pin over. Look at that, six, seven. I'll change it in the other pin. Six, so, so far, everything is fine. Last check. Six. Okay, so we know that part of this system is okay. So, so far, this stator is checking out, but there's one more check. Okay, sorry about the noise. But we've got it on AC current now. Okay, between one phase, oh, we're running 36. 7 volts which is great, the next phase 37 which is great, check another one now, 37 which is great, 37 which is great, let's check this final phase, and we've got 5 volts, and there is a problem with our charging system. So what you can see is through two of these phases, everything was fine. I went to the final phase and we only had five volts. And that is the problem, our stator. So we've got to remove this stator. So on the second part of this video, we'll be removing that crankcase cover and uh, changing over our stator. So thanks for watching. Always remember, drive like you know each other. And I'll see you on part two of this video. Bye bye. You're a rebel, getting into trouble. You are kind of like a fire, like a fire, like a fire. Unpredictable, so original. You are never backing down, backing down, backing down. That's what I like about you. So dangerous. I get this rush when I'm with you.
next time. Thank you. 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 Thank you.